Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do um, compress and normalize. And uh, this is for a voiceover, so it's going to be mono. Um, and so I want to work with it in mono. And this, the track I got, so you can see here, it's a stereo track. This is Audacity, so I've opened up the track in Audacity. And you can see that there's a left channel and the right channel, and they're uh, from the waveform, they look like they're the same thing. And of course they are, because it's a voiceover. So what I'm going to do, and I, I don't need it to be stereo, it'll be more efficient in mono. So I click here, I'm going to split stereo to mono. Now I have two monos, and I'm just going to delete one. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the view to fit vertically. So I can see it, and I can see that, you know, this waveform of course needs to be amplified. Now luckily it's a good um, high quality recording. There's no background noise and I know that because I've listened to it earlier. If there were background noise then I would want to um, do some work to minimize that. But in this case there's no need to uh, eliminate any background noise. It's a good clean recording. So now uh, it's very simple. All I do is I go to Effect, Compressor. I'm going to go with the standard default curve and I'm going to um, uh, have it normalized to 0 dB after compressing. So this is compress and normalize and I'm going to compress based on the peaks. This is just all the standard default. So it's applying the dynamic range and there we go. And I have a waveform that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a spike right there that one's enough and it looks like there might be one right there. I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. So now I'm going to zoom in to that place where I know that there is a spike. They're pretty easy to see like right there. I'll zoom in a little bit more. There it is right there. And uh, I'm going to select this little bit right there. Right, and then I'm just going to do effect, amplify, and I'm going to uh, reduce it by like minus 3 dB, which is usually enough. And I do that, look, see it brought it in line with everything else. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And that's just the cursor line. And look through and see if there's any place else where it maxed it out. And it's pretty close right there and maybe right there. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do effect, amplify, minus 3 dB. Okay, that brings it in line. And then uh, this one right there is pretty close to the edge at the top. So I'm actually going to go in right there, grab that peak effect, amplify, minus 3 dB, okay, and uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to highlight the whole curve, or the whole waveform, and I'm going to do it again. Effect, compressor, uh, normalize to 0 dB, and see it looks like a much thicker, richer waveform now. And then that'll sound really good. And then of course when I save it, I'll just do a file, export, I want to export the whole thing. And uh, exporting it as an MP3 is fine, uh, 128 kbps is fine, and uh, it's going to, depending on ver the version you have, it may put it back into stereo, which is okay. It'd be better if it did it into mono. But uh, now you'll have a nice um, smooth, rich sounding waveform.